I guess probably the first time I met Lord Beaverbrook was when I was in law school in 1946, and he was out here for a fall convocation at UNB. I was president of the Law School Society. We were located in St. John at that time. One of the things he was most interested in was the fact that another chap and I had debated, had debated against uh, Dalhousie Law School at Halifax uh, a month before that or several weeks before that. And we had defeated Dalhousie Law School in the debate. And Beaverbrook took great delight in that fact. And, uh, well, I have um, two stories about Lord Beaverbrook uh, when I met him one-on-one. -on -one. The first story uh, takes place in London. It was shortly after I arrived in London in September of uh, 1951. I was a Beaverbrook Overseas Scholar. Uh, you could call it a living room or a drawing room. It must have had 15 sofas on it, all covered with pictures, okay? So I sat down and uh, waited and waited, and finally this little bald-headed man came into the room and walked up and down looking at the pictures. He finally came to me and he said, who the hell are you? Well, I'd been in the army. I didn't take that kind of thing. I said, well, you tell me who the hell you are first. And he said, I'm Lord Beaverbrook. And I said, oh my God, I've done the wrong thing. So that's when I first met Lord Beaverbrook. And he had a word with each one. And then he said to me, now, Miss Warren, let's go over to the bar. So we went over to the bar and I had planned that um, we would have one bottle of Johnny Walker Black Label. I've been told that was what Lord Beaverbrook liked to drink, but it was very expensive. So I told the barman, only one bottle and keep it hidden until Lord Beaverbrook comes to the bar. So He took great delight in showing us the guest book with Rudyard Kipling's uh, autograph or signature in as a, one of the guests. And, and uh, I don't know how many times uh, Kipling must have signed the book because everybody had to sign on the same page as Kipling and I think that had been going on for 50 years or so. So when we got to the bar, the barman uh, filled up a huge glass about five or six inches tall with uh, this beautiful whiskey and that for Lord Beaverbrook and he just took his hand and pushed it gently over towards me. There you go Miss Warren, he said. <laughs> 